guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about beginner hamster care for people that are just beginners and they want to start to own hamsters. So the supplies you need for hamsters are a wheel, a cage, um, hideouts, toys, chew toys, a water bottle or water dish, a food dish, food, bedding, and then just the hamster itself. The first thing that you need is a wheel, like I said. Um, basically for wheels, you don't want anything that has bar or mesh on it because those can give hamsters bumblefoot. Um, an 8 inch wheel for Syrians, an 8 inch is diameter, so you want an 8 inch wheel for Syrians. And then you want smaller ones for dwarfs, so I would say about 6 inches for dwarfs and Chinese. Then you're going to need a cage, of course. For a cage, you're going to need a minimum of 450 square inches. You have three choices for cages. You can either get an aquarium, which is the easiest to buy because it's just sold in pet stores, but they are expensive. Or you could get a bin cage, which is DIY. You make it, it's very cheap, it's easy to make. Or you can make a whole new DIY cage that you can just create yourself. Then you're going to need a hideout. For this, it's pretty simple, just anything big enough. That, that has ventilation to keep your hamster in. Then you're going to need toys, which is what he's in right there. He's in a little cube. And this can be anything from something like he's in right now. You're just going to need something to keep them entertained. Then you're going to need chew toys. You can do anything from wood to willow to seagrass. Then you're going to need a water bottle. Uh, I would suggest having a water bottle over a water bowl because bottles are can be kept cleaner because they're not um, touching the air and nothing can get into them. Then you're going to need a food dish. For this I would also recommend ceramic so it doesn't get tipped over. You need something big enough because hamsters usually like to sit in their food bowls while they eat. Then for the actual food it needs to be 17 to 22 percent protein, 8 to 10 percent fiber, and 4 to 6 percent fat. So if you look on the back of hamster food labels it says all the guaranteed analysis. So most hamster foods on the market don't have the correct percentage of the protein, fat, and fiber that they need. So I use a mix of Higgins Sunburst and the KT uh, pellet, KT pellets. You're also going to need to feed them fruits and veggies every so often, or bet, uh, lettuce to carrots to peppers, like red pep sweet red peppers. And then to actually pick your hamster, there are five different domesticated species of hamster. Um, the first most common one is the Syrian hamster, which is what I have. Um, Syrians are the biggest, and from my opinion, they are the best for beginners. Um, they're a lot bigger, so they're easier to hold. They're slower, they're more laid back. They come in a big variety of colors and fur types. I have a cream banded, long haired, red eyed hamster. And I used to have a black tortoiseshell banded short haired hamster. Then there are Russian Campbell's dwarf hamsters. They are pretty small, but they're usually known to be pretty friendly, even though they can be fast. They're around four inches. Then there's winter white dwarf hamsters. Usually you're not going to get pure winter white hamsters because usually they're mixed with a winter white and a Russian Campbell's to make a hybrid. But these are also known to be very friendly and they turn whiter in the winter, which is something cool about them, and they are around three inches long. So then there is the Chinese hamster. Um, this is actually not a dwarf hamster. A lot of people think they are, but they're not. Um, they have a pretty long tail compared to other hamsters. Then there's the Roborowski dwarf hamster, also known as the Robo hamster. They're usually quite small, ranging from one and a half inches to two inches. Um, they can be very fast and skittish, and I would recommend getting hamsters from shelters or from rescues instead of from pet stores. You can go on Craigslist or Pet Finder and find some good hamsters for sale. I got him on Craigslist. You can also go to breeders, just make sure that um, the breeder actually cares for the hamsters correctly. Now I'm going to talk about the care of a hamster. Every two days you're going to refill their bowl. Um, with food, I usually do two tablespoons for Syrian hamsters and for dwarfs. Some people do like, just one tablespoon, but again, it just depends on the hamster. For a 450 square inch cage, you're going to want to clean it um, every two weeks. 
but that can depend on how big your cage is. So if you have a bigger cage, you're gonna clean it less often. And then of course you just need to refill their water when they need it. And then you take them out for at least 15 minutes every day. Now on to taming. For this, you're gonna need to leave your hamster a couple of days to settle in before you start actually handling them. You can start giving them a treat and see if they'll take it out of your hand. You're gonna to wanna to repeat this and become really comfortable with this. Then you're gonna to wanna to put the treat onto the palm of your hand and see if they will take it off the palm of your hand. You can bring them to an enclosed space, like the one I have here, it's a playpen. And you can do the same thing, you put your palm with the treat in your hand to see and see if they will come onto your hand. Um, you can also pet them to, to get them used to your touch or you can pet them with a different object. Um, you want to repeat this again until they are very comfortable. And then you can start putting your palm down and see if they will climb up, climb up onto it. Once they have climbed up onto your palm, see if you can lift it a little bit, bit up into the air. And again, you're going to want to repeat the step until they become comfortable with it. Once they have become comfortable with that step, um, you can start again lifting them up and then once they are ready with that, you can start scooping them up gently and you're just going to want to repeat that until they get used to you touching them. Okay, now for the frequently asked questions on hamsters. How long do hamsters live? They live two to three years on average. Do hamsters need baths? No, hamsters cannot have baths at all. It can make them very sick. So never give your hamster a bath. Do hamsters need checkups? No, they don't need checkups yearly unless they are very sick. And then how do I make sure my hamster is healthy? Basically, you can do a health check every week or so. Pick them up. Basically, you're going to want to make sure that their teeth are yellow or orange. You actually don't want them to be white because that can mean they're stressed or that their food isn't good for them. You're also going to want to check that they're not dehydrated by pulling their skin a little bit and then if it comes back into place right away, that means they're not dehydrated. And then common illnesses for hamsters. Um, the most common illness that one of my hamsters had was a respiratory infection. Um, basically, she was just clicking, um, which sounds, it just sounds like clicking. And uh, her eyes were closed. Um, she, we had to use time. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments and I will answer them. So thank you for watching. Bye.